Alright, we're back to chapter 4, video number 15. We're doing a debug on our program here. And in the last example, we went through a debug uh, exercise where we knew that it was overtime. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run a debug to see uh, what it would look like if it wasn't. So let's, let's do that. I'm going to recompile this. And I'm going to type in the same, uh, not the same data, because now I want to put it in as um, no overtime. So 30 hours, $10 an hour. When I click on wage, the computer will run. And basically, when I click the wage button, it will start here. But it will stop at that red dot. So when I click wage, it's executed this, goes back to my code, and says stop. Let's go through this. So the... Um, Compiler is allowing me to look at every line, every piece of code as we go through. By pushing F11, it works my way through the, the lines, the statements. And I'm going to stop here where it says the condition statement. And, and the reason I'm stopping here is because I want to see which direction, where is it going to go. So ask yourself the question, is the hours, which is 30, is it greater than the overtime? And we know overtime is um, 40. So is 30 um, greater than 40? Of course it's not. So it's not going to do this block. It should jump down to the else. So when I push F11, it jumped down to the else, and it's going to do that block of code, which makes sense because 30 hours is just regular pay. So I just want to take the regular $10, multiply it by 30, and that will give me my answer. Now currently it says 0 because this line of code has not been executed yet. If I push the F11 key, this becomes the answer. It performs the calculation on the right side of the assignment operator, and it it um, assigns the answer to the left side. So it becomes 300. Now, in this next line right here, currently, uh, well, we know wage is 300. But we know 300, if you look at it, is a number. And we cannot stick a raw number inside of a text box because text boxes have to have quotations. They have to be displayed as a string. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, let's go back and let's convert our 300 back into a string. And we're going to do it as a currency with two decimal places. All right, so when I push the F11 key, wage is now still 300. Uh, this executed and assigned it to here. So if I roll my mouse over this one here, it says, ah, there it is. It's been 300 has been converted to currency with two decimal places. And it outputs the way I want. So I never caught any errors on this one, so it should return and end my code, and it shows up with the correct output. Perfect. All right, let's do that one more time, but this time let's put in um, some incorrect data, and let's click Wage, and let's go back to our debugger, and let's see what that does. So again, it's going to initialize our variable, so I'm going to push F11 and work my way through. And now... It's got something here It says, I put in 30 for hours, but under the text box hours, I put in 10. Well, how do you convert T-E-N, how do you parse it into a decimal? The computer's like, what? That, doesn't make, that makes no sense at all. So when I push the F11 here, the computer jumps all the way down and says, hey, caught, I caught an error. So if it catches an error, let's go back in and say, let's display this error message. So I push uh, the F11 and it says, hey, there's the error message displays it, and when I click OK, returns back to the code. It says, hey, let's clean out that, that text box. Let's clean out the other text box. We don't know which one's wrong. We'll clean them both out and set the focus back to where we want it to be. And that should return me back to my program. It'll clean out those two text boxes. And I probably also should have cleaned this one out too, because if there's an error, we don't want the old one there. So really, from a user point, the program um, should clean this one out. If you think about it. And, you know, sometimes my programs, I, I forget these myself. I haven't done enough quality assurance on them, I guess. So you can go back in and make those subtle changes um, yourself. All right, so that's kind of a walkthrough on that using the debugger. And I, I tend to use the debugger a lot. Um, it's um, because it's such a great tool to sort of figure out how the execution of the program works and just spending time going through the code over and over until you understand it fully. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the uh, wage button program, so we'll see you guys in the next video.